It was winter on the island of Sodor. Snow had come early that year. It was heavier than usual. The countryside was all white. There was not an engine in sight. On the little western branch line, Duck, Oliver, Toad and the Scottish twin were just waking up. It's snowy again, exclaimed Toad. I don't like the snow when you get stuck in it, said Oliver. Me and Douglas likes the snow, said Donald. Clearing the line of snow is our favourite job. That's because you two never bother with snow, chuckled Duck. Aye, in Scotland we used to call it Scottish snow, said Douglas. <laughs> Meanwhile, the people in the town of Nafford were short of food supplies. There was no bread and cakes for the bakery, no fruit and vegetables for the greengrocers, and no chocolates for the sweet shop. When the fat controller heard about this, he was upset. That means I won't be able to have toast and crumpers for breakfast, he boomed. But there are some supplies left at Vickerstown, and I know two engines for the job. So he went over to Duck's branch line on board Thomas. When he arrived, he spoke to the Scottish twins. The town of Nafford are running low of food supplies, he told them. But there are some supplies left over at Vickerstown. Donal and Douglas, you must go and collect them and bring them to Nafford. I know you two are the only engines who can get through the snow. Yes, sir. We'll do our best, said the twins. The workmen have fitted their snow plows on. Then the twins collected the work coach and some empty trucks. And soon they were ready to start their journey. No drip lay thick on the track, but Donald and Douglas charged through fiercely. Their fires were burning well, and their steam pressures was high, and their pistons were pumping very hard. Each time, when they got stuck, they drew back and let the workmen lose the hard-packed snow. Then they charged again until they were through. It was hard going, but at last they arrived at Vickerstown Station. The station master was waiting for them. You made it, he cheered. Paddy couldn't deliver the food supply because of the snow had blocked the road. Ach, dinner flesh yourself, tooted Donald. That's what we're here for. So the workmen and the station staff were loading everything into the trucks. At last, they would finish. I've done my hard work getting here, Douglas, whistled Donald. No, it's your turn. No need to tell me, Donald, called Douglas. Then, they set off on their journey back. loads were very heavy, but the twins managed it with no trouble. As they were puffing along, there was trouble ahead. The snow slipped down the bank and blocked the line. Take a run of it, Douglas, called his driver. As Douglas charged towards the snow pile, when suddenly... Stop! yelled Douglas. The twins slammed on their brakes. They stopped inches from the snow pile. What's wrong, Douglas? asked Donald. Where have we stopped? 
I thought I saw something moving in the snow, replied Douglas. His driver and fireman got down to look. Then there was a loud bah! It's sheep, exclaimed the driver. Both engine crews and the workmen worked hard to dig the snow away. They dug out ten sheep. They were feeling cold and miserable. They must be Farmer McColes's, said Donald's driver. But how are we going to take them back? The trucks are full, said Douglas's driver. Then Donald had an idea. There are some cattle trucks back at Kildon Station. Good idea, Donald, said the driver. So Donald was uncoupled and went to Kildon to collect some cattle trucks, while Douglas kept the sheep warmed and comfortable. By the time Donald came back with two cattle trucks, the sheep began to feel better. They climbed aboard, and Donald and Douglas backed up and charged towards the snow pile. We've done it, they hooted as they headed for home. At Nafford Station, the other engines and the fat controller were waiting. Then, they heard whistle in the distance. Here they come, called Duck. Everybody cheered as the twins pulled into the station. Well done, Donald and Douglas, cheered the fat controller. We are all proud of you for bringing the food supply. And you also rescued Farmer McCall's sheep. Thank you for saving my sheep, said Farmer McCall. Oh, it was nothing, smiled the twins. Three cheers for Donald and Douglas, whistled Oliver. The engines whistled and everybody cheered. Even the sheep cheered too. Bah!